Most businesses have loads of inventory. It's crucial to the ability of the operations to work properly, but also it's extremely expensive and complicated to manage. So why do we have it? There are many ways to categorise inventory. By location in the supply chain, its form, by owner, grouped by value or criticality, and today's topic by function. Hi there, I'm Lawrence Gartside, founder of Roten's Training, with another video on one of my favourite topics, inventory. Yeah, baby! I think there's really six main functions of inventory that we need to know about, which help us to view all that stuff we have with a bit more insight and critique. What is it all doing? What purpose do we think it's serving us? especially when the call from accounting comes through to cut out inventory to make the books look good for the year-end accounts, we need some sharp focus to understand what inventory really has a purpose and what is just a forgotten waste depreciating away our profits at the back of the warehouse. So, functions of inventory. What have we got? First of all, there's cycle inventory sometimes also known as working stock. And this is the inventory in use right now to sustain our operations. This is very close to the term work in progress. Although work in progress will also include stuff started and now just waiting for no particular reason. The next category is safety inventory or safety stock. This is typically raw materials or finished goods inventory, and it's kept as extra to what we need in our daily or monthly cycle of consumption and replenishment. It's kept as an extra stock to protect us from uncertainty and variation in the supply and demand of our stuff. Then there's buffer stock, sometimes known as decoupling stock, which can be a type of work in progress or raw materials deliberately kept in front of critical processes to protect them from process or supply disruption. Whilst we're on a roll, please remember... The next function of inventory I want to talk about is pipeline inventory. This is also known as inventory in transit. Because stuff does have to be transported from one place to another, it exists because... That's a reality of our operations and supply chain. The day we have light speed wormhole transportation, no more pipeline inventory. Another function of inventory is known as anticipation inventory. This can be raw materials or finished goods inventory. And we keep it because we anticipate a surge in demand in the future. It's kind of a safety stock for a known future upward variation of demand. Anyway, hope this video has got some of the terms straight, so you can get your head back in the game for some good old inventory management. If you want to boost your inventory grounding and top up your career credentials, or get your team all up to speed talking the same language, then please check out my inventory management A to Z course and free resources over on my site, rotenstraining.com, along with my whole library of other introductory business management courses, so check them out too. Okay then, enough of the anticipation of whether I'm going to hit you with a pipeline. If you want to buffer the impact or cycle to safety, crack on.